Good morning, everyone. Father Bob Gross. Uh, it is 634 on Sunday morning, uh, July 12th, 2020. Welcome to the St. Aloysius Rectory Kitchen. Good morning. It is a beautiful morning. Um, the clouds have finally gone away and we have clear skies. Um, today, um, what I want to do is just talk about Sunday. Uh, briefly talk about Sunday. You know, technically it's the first day of the week. Uh, for thousands of years, Saturday was the Sabbath. Uh, in the Old Testament, it was the Sabbath, the day that you rested. Today would have been the first day of the week where you go back to work. But Jesus changed Sunday when he rose from the dead. And transferred the rest and the worship that we are to offer God to this day because of the resurrection. So Sunday is the reminder of Jesus' resurrection. It's the weekly reminder that Jesus rose from the dead. It's the weekly reminder that we're going to be raised from the dead. It's the weekly celebration of the victory of God over death. It's the weekly reminder that the devil loses. It's the weekly reminder of the dying and rising of Jesus. It's the weekly reminder that we need to live according to the way we've been made in God's image and likeness. And once a week, we have to rest. True holy recreation. Recreation. And the center point of it is the gathering for Sunday Mass. Christians are Christians when they gather for Sunday Mass. Sunday is a symbol. It's a symbol of new life, hope, goodness, beauty, the Lordship of Christ. That's why we used to close things on Sunday. That's why we would not do work on Sunday. That's why we would spend time together as family on Sunday. That's why Sunday was so holy. And the thing is, is it's still holy, but we don't treat it as holy. Sunday is the best day of the week. Because as we begin another week, the first thing that we do on the first day of the week is that we give the first day to God. St. John Vianney said, God gave us six days, but the seventh day belongs to him. So as we begin this Sunday, that thought just kind of, you know, sticks in my mind. Uh, we, we've lost that sense. We do not think of that sense, and I pray that we, we do. Uh, today we're going to have Mass at 8 o'clock in Oshin. And we're going to have confessions before that, beginning at 7.15. And then uh, we're going to have Mass at 10 o'clock here in Kelmer, and that one will be live streamed. Um, there was only 27 people at 4 o'clock Mass yesterday, and about 40 people at 6 o'clock Mass yesterday. I think uh, people are spooked uh, with the recent uh, uh, virus activity. But it's safe. Uh, we're making it as safe as possible to come to Mass, but... Uh, if you're not coming, uh, there'll be the live stream uh, option at 10 o'clock. And I pray that you enjoy and uh, rejoice uh, 
uh, in the day of Sunday, the day of the Lord's resurrection. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you in church. God bless you.